ingrown toenails are when the corners of the toe tend to curve down into the skin of the big toes. Usually it's most commonly with the big toes, but it can also happen with other toes. What causes ingrown toenails is typically, um, it can be from wearing too tight of shoes and your toes are crowding together, pushing the nail into the skin. It also can be from the way we cut our nails. People that typically tie, try to trim around the sides and keep clipping at the corners of the nail tend to ingrow more than if we cut them straight across. So what can happen with um, ingrown toenails that come and go, they can create um, friction and rubbing, which then creates some swelling and can cause pus and drainage, which can be, lead to um, skin infection just because of the friction and the rubbing and then bacteria getting into the nail or of the corner of the nail. Anybody can get an ingrown toenail, but commonly we see um, Kids can get them more easily because of the way they trim their toenails or they pick at their toenails. And then people that are at risk for having complications with ingrown toenails can be diabetics and um, patients that have peripheral vascular disease and patients that have autoimmune disorders. Kind of the opposite of why we get them. So wearing appropriate toe box shoes so that are a wider fitting shoes. Uh, more commonly we see people wearing tighter fitting shoes. Women wearing pointed toed shoes can be more crowding. And then also like in the way that we cut our toenail, recommend again cutting straight across and not like curving down. And then as they curve down, people tend to just make them shorter and shorter and then causing them to ingrow back. So there's a couple options when we treat ingrown toenails. Um, you can start by just, um, as a provider, correctly trimming them out for them because sometimes patients are fearful of getting the procedure done. Well, the couple, there's two options of procedure. You can do a temporary removal, which means we numb the toe with the anesthetic and we trim out the side in hopes that it'll not ingrow back. But sometimes even after we do that, patients will have them ingrow again. So if they've had an ingrown procedure in the past of a temporary removal, then I would recommend a permanent, which includes using a chemical to kill the nail root, so in hopes that it doesn't grow back at all.